says, do you know the halacha the Gemara says? Is that when you have poyalim, somebody's working for the Baal habayis. You're hired, the Baal habayis hired you, come to my house and paint these walls. Over the next seven hours, I will pay you $30 an hour. The halacha, the Gemara in Bracha says, Paskant and Shulchan Aruch, is that those poyalim are not allowed to stop to daven. They're not allowed to say, Birchaz Hamazain, all they're allowed to say is just the first brachas if they ate something. They're not allowed to say Kriyashma, assuming they were males, and they're Chayib and Kriyashma, Mida Oiraisa, they're only allowed to say the first parsha of Kriyashma. Okay? He says, we're not discussing Bechlal, talking to your wife, talking to your husband, schmoozing with your kids, taking a break, or picking up your cell phone when you are a salaried worker or you are an hourly worker working from 9 to 5, your boss is paying you whatever price you negotiated and yet you are totally okay every few minutes picking up your phone, shooting out a text, checking something, looking something up, shopping on the computer. You're totally okay with that. However, says Masil Yasharim, Kasha Gezel Hedjik Mi Gezel Gavaya. It is worse to steal from an individual than it is to steal from the Beis HaMikdash than it is to steal from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. You have no way to atone for that unless you go to your boss and you pay him back. Now I'm going to tell you something else. And just use these ideas as a little clow for the bigger picture. Loi oid, he says, Ela sha'afilu im osa mitzvah bezman malachtoi. You did a mitzvah. You turned to all the girls in your office and you said, Ladies, it would be such a beautiful thing if every day we took five minutes out, ten minutes out, and we learned, I don't know, Chayvis Halbabas, Mesilis Yisharim, Hilchas Lashon Hara, something from, from Betachen, anything you like. Let's all do it together. It would be so beautiful. He says, It's not tzedakah. It's an avera. If you go out and say, look, I'm a very firm girl. I daven mincha every single day. So I guess I can take off and I can daven a mincha as long as I want. Well, if you have a lunch hour and you've negotiated that in, of course you can daven mincha on your lunch hour. If you don't have a lunch hour, you're playing with fire. You're doing gazela if you daven, unless you've worked that out with your boss. And if he says, I'm sorry, in the summer... No reason you should daven on my, my time. I'm paying you for this. Daven after you leave at 5 o'clock. He's a thousand percent entitled to do so. Or he's entitled to say you can take 10 minutes to daven, but you're going to have to deduct it from your salary. That is the halacha, my friends. And a person who doesn't do that, a person who thinks to themselves, well, what do you mean? I'm davening. Isn't davening? I mean, I'm a firm girl. For a firm girl, I'm not davening. But you're not allowed to. And not only are you not allowed to, it will constitute gazela. And nobody would do it, but the HR will tell you what do you mean. Good girls all dab in Minchi. Yes, they do. Figure out how to do it in a way that your boss is okay with. Walking into your office in the morning, and there's already ten ladies there, and you say, oh my gosh, you won't believe what happened to me on my way. And you regale them with this entire long story. And for 15 minutes, everybody is bottle me malachtam. Now, if it's a culture that allows for that, and you know your boss is totally okay with that, that's one thing. But if not, and I can tell you many employers are not okay with it, even if they don't have the ability to police, to stop you at all times. But this is something that you may want to think about. And again, you want to think about it for two reasons. You want to think about it, number one, because Leisigzol is a terrible, terrible avera to be over. I don't know any way around it. I've looked. Trust me. If there's a heter, I would have found it by now. There's no heter for Leisigzol. Okay? I tried. So it ain't there. And number two is you want Parnassa. You're going to work to earn Parnassa. When a person goes to work to earn Parnassa, they have to be have incredible integrity. The bracha of Bechukaisai comes from Aleph Beis Gimel Dalad Hei Vav Zayin Ches, acting with integrity.